TBI agents and local investigators make a break in the case of a death in Marion County. I'm Calvin Snead. I'm Kim Chapman. On Tuesday afternoon, authorities found 72-year-old Jerry Ridge dead inside his pawn shop after a fire was extinguished. News Channel 9's John Madewell joins us now live from that scene with the break in the case. John. Well, Kim and Calvin, here's the latest in the case. Sheriff Bo Burnett tells us they have zeroed in on a person of interest in this case. Now, understand this is not the only tragedy that the Ridge family has suffered this year. TBI has ruled the death of Jerry Ridge as an active homicide investigation. Although investigators are keeping details closely guarded, Sheriff Bo Burnett says it was clear very quickly something suspicious had happened. Pretty soon, because the victim wasn't identified to yesterday, but uh, you know, I, I know the family and, and know the been, know the business, been there, and. and I pretty well suspected at that time, and I talked to some of the family, and they suspected. We asked Sheriff Burnett if any money or guns were stolen. He says the TBI told him not to comment, but he did give some insight. The way in which Mr. Ridge was found inside the building, mm -hmm. did that lead to further suspicion? It did. I, 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 it did to some extent, yes. The Ridge family suffered before this death. Jerry Ridge's nephew, Wesley Ridge, went missing on March 8th. His disappearance is also suspicious. After two ground searches, nothing turned up. Leads have grown cold. Is there anything that's arisen to connect those two? No, there's not. As it stands, two separate tragedies for one family. Last month and a half, two months, I've, there's been a lot of tragedy in that family, and uh, I've had to, you know, had to talk to them a lot and uh, understand they're going through some hard times. Now, we reached out to the family, the widow of Jerry Ridge. Understandably, with everything that's gone on, she declined to comment through a family member. And late this afternoon, I circled back and spoke with Sheriff Burnett again. He says an arrest has not happened up to this point, but he is hopeful that one will happen before week's end. Reporting live from Whitwell, I'm John Madewell for News Channel 9. Now back to you. All right, John, thank you. Doctors performed the autopsy yesterday, but the TBI is holding off from releasing the preliminary cause of death.